Yes, 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 the Lord told me that I must give you this testimony. It is a Zambian family by the name of Kamfa. They stay there in Mashama. Their child, I should be a daughter, is based out there in America. And she had her passport expired. And eventually the, the papers, the permits and everything also lapsed. Now she she was just dodging the authorities for about a year with an expired passport. And then when she communicated to the parents back there in Mashava, then they knew that a deportation was imminent. Yeah. Yes. And all they did, they heard about the gift of God. Hallelujah. Then they came over, yes, sir. then they narrated their ordeal. Then I said, Don't you worry. Connect him with me. I, don't, I think she's a hair. Then I prayed for that situation. Then they said, what do we do, pastor? I said, let her take the passport to the American authorities for the next stage. <laughs> Only belief. <laughs> All things are possible. She took that passport, expired passport to the authorities and she was given the green pass using an expired passport. When we say green pass, it is like the, the top of the range documents that will allow her to stay undisturbed in America. I, I called them recently. I wanted to talk to them. They said, no, they went to America. The parents, they went to that child. Everything was processed using an expired passport. Then you begin to ask, brother, how, how, how? It's dogs that go how, how? My God does not go how, how. He says, only believe. Only believe. All things are possible. So, brother, sister, I'm saying today to you, I didn't plan this, but I'm saying, I am saying, you are my kith and kin. You are my kith and kin. And the local authorities here, they are despising you. But I'm saying, stay on. Stay on. You don't belong to the majority. You are Goshen. Receive your pennies. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are unique. You are different. Yes. I'm not trying to give you false confidence now. Believe it and it shall be. Yes. I never planned this. Yes. I never planned this. But the Lord is saying, I've heard the cry of my people. Moses, they are crying by reason of Pharaoh. Pharaoh is troubling my children. Go down. I've heard the cry of my people. Hallelujah. You are beloved people. You are not churches. You are not thieves. You are not prostitutes. You are here trying to earn an honest living. Receive your purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your purpose. I defy that harassment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Brother, we are not joking here. God is concerned about his own. Yes, the politicians can do their own. Pharaoh and his people can do his things. But Joseph's brethren will be in Goshen. And I question my brother. And I question my sister. God bless you for that.